Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Colosseum Nuzlocke Challenge. Today we are going into the Pyrite Colosseum's final match. Let's see how much of a challenge this actually will be. The last guy actually had three Pokemon rather than just two. If you could beat me, Master Mirror B could come calling for you something. Bodybuilder would like to battle. He has a Bagon and a Goldeen. I think I'll be able to take care of that rather easily. Umbreon and Misrevers. I'm gonna switch Misrevers out of the front of the party as soon as I get out of this Colosseum because it's done purifying. Really doesn't need any more uh, battles. So Umbreon is just going to bite the Bagon. And Misrevers is gonna get switched out for Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy. And Fluffy is going to... Does Fluffy have Thunder Shock? I don't think it does. But sure as hell it's gonna have to get it at some point, right? So I may as well. Oh, that was actually doing half damage. So Bagon is gonna go down next to you. Would you serve? That does nothing. That still does nothing. Amber. Who are you gonna Amber? Oh, I'll be able to take that. All my Pokemon are so bulky. It's unbelievable. You have Cotton Spore. Damn it. Well, Shadow Rush to Goldeen in that case. Bite is, unless I get really unlucky min maxing, is gonna take out your bag, and it does take out your bag, and no problem whatsoever. And we're on to the third Pokemon Magnemide. I don't have a proper count to Magnemide. Horn attack. Oh, I thought there was horn drill for a second. I was like, oh, no, miss it, miss it, miss it. But it's horn attack. Hyper mode, which is a really good thing. I don't get to attack, but still a really good thing. So let's bite the Magnemite and call the Fluffy. And Fluffy's almost done purifying. It's going to get Thundershock at some point soon. How much is bite going to do? It's going to be resisted. Still does like a sixth, I want to say. One sixth? Maybe a seventh. Maybe maybe an eighth. Doesn't do too much. Thundershock. On who? Why would you do that? I I have to wonder, why would you? So Goldeen isn't that much of a threat anyway. So I'm going to Shadow Rush the Magnemite because I have to get rid of the Magnemite. Shadow Rush is the only... I say that. Nature power is actually neutral, isn't it? I mean, Surf... In double battles, not that great because its power gets divided by two. Because in double battles, Earthquake gets divided in three because it hits three targets. And Surf hits two targets in later generation three targets, so it gets divided uh, as base power over those. Again, Hyper Mode? That's a, that's a joke. Well, Secret Power, the Magnemite, and I suppose I'll call the Fluffy again. It's almost done with its uh, opening its heart shenanigans. And I believe after this Pyrite Town... Oh, it's also resisted. I believe after Pyrite Town we actually can start purifying our Pokémon, which will make our lives a hell of a lot easier. Because that means that the Pokémon we catch actually won't be underleveled. Because they're starting to be at that point where they're not that strong anymore. Sonic Bo how much PP does... How much HP, I mean, does Fluffy have? Oh! That was so close! And I can't taunt with Umbreon because it's gonna die. Switch out Fluffy, switch out Fluffy. I'm gonna go with Quagsire. Because that's the only thing that actually can take a Thunder Shock. Everybody else is not gonna take a Thunder Shock. Electric uh, is really a weakness on my team. Which is funny, considering that on my battle sport team I'm using at the moment as of recording this, which is like... ...a week before it actually airs. Electric is a really uh, weak spot for my battle sport team as well, so there's something about Electric which... ...I just apparently don't like. Or Electric doesn't like me, I should say. Sonic Boom, though, is really the most annoying attack ever this early in the game. 
I'm gonna go with hoping Magnemite dies to a bite. So I'm gonna Shadow Rush the Goldeen. Get a crit or just kill it. Thank you, you killed it. Now Shadow Rush get a crit and kill the Goldeen. That'd be wonderful. Oh, you also have a teleport. You have four. Are you gonna have six Pokemon? Because that may be a slight issue. That may be an issue. I'm gonna have to switch out. Oh no, I have healing items. I have healing items. I was gonna say no hyper mode, please, right now. Oh, you took that so well. You took that so well. I'm teaming up on the Goldeen. Teaming up on the Goldeen. Present, please be a healing present. Be a healing present. Be a healing present. Oh, that's a critical hit. That's laughable. That's what it is. And the Shadow Rush is going to finish the Goldeen off. I hope he only has four Pokemon. Confusion, hell yeah. Finish yourself off. Or at least hit yourself. You could have finished yourself off and I could have hit Talibur. Hyper mode! What's up with that damn hyper mode when I don't want it? I'm going to take the risk and say Goldeen is going to take itself out. And I'm going to call the Quagsire. I really should be healing up. I really should be healing up. Present. Heal me. Heal me with your presence. Please. No. Okay. Quagsire is going to have to be healed up. So is Umbreon, actually. Please, Goldeen, hit yourself in confusion. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh, you killed yourself. Thank you. That's what I counted on. I counted on you killing yourself. If you send out another Pokemon, I'm going to heal. If you don't... Okay. I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to heal. It's not worth healing at this point. That being said, I might actually take myself out with Recoil! I don't think I will. I do not think I will. If I do, I'm gonna be so upset. Don't take yourself out with Recoil, please. You take out the Delibird. That may be a... Okay. Okay. I, I won this battle. I won this battle. That was kind of scary for a second, though. Confuse Ray. No, no, I'm not, no, not gonna bother with Confuse Ray. Not gonna bother. We won this match. We won it. You're some kind of strong. Good things could be in store for you. I won. That's what I did. Congratulations, you're the champion. Uh, you battled fabulously. Please accept your cash prize of 4,848 Poké Dollars. And a victory prize, please also accept CMO 6. Which is... You're not gonna tell me, so I have to find out myself. Uh, items. CMs. Toxic. That may actually be very, very good. Also, are my Pokémon healed up? They are. Miss Reavers, you're gonna get switched out for Quagsire. Because I want Quagsire to be purified. Yeah, we can go on for a little bit longer. I thought this might... Oh yeah, the whole walking thing. I was going to fix the controller. Um, Guess I'm not doing that. Guess I'm not doing that. You know what? I may actually go ahead and do that now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remember I've been... This episode's almost like eight minutes long. So when I come back, another 10 or so minutes should do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because... Yeah, it's literally just doing this. I'm gonna try and get the other controller. I will be right back. For you guys, it will just be like... Right about now. So when I came back, this guy just started talking to me because I probably just walked all the way over here. Hi there, you must be the superb trainer who has emerged uh, Triumph in our la latest battle thing. I, I don't know. Sorry, I just ran up like uh, the stairs three times. <laughs> so I, I'm a bit out of my uh, out of breath. Mirobita, it sounds true. Mura Shaker wishes to have a uh, you to have a gorgeous gift. Now follow me. I would love that gorgeous gift of his. I mean, as long as it's not like rape, that that that'd be great. <laughs> if it isn't, I mean, if it isn't, that'd be great. If it is. I prefer just to skip out on it. Also, we can go in here apparently. 
Right, I'm back with our latest uh, challenge uh, winner. Let's present a winner with uh, Shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleash. Hoo hoo hoo! Oh, nice one. Our champion is quite a pink charm. It makes a nice change for the uh, parade of Macho uh, Musselman. Wait, this isn't happening. This guy. He's that Fluga guy Mirror B was uh, carrying about. But what? You're the same guy uh, who messed with us in Phoenix City? Huh, I didn't know um, that I would let him in here. I put you right back out. Uh, apparently we're fighting Cypher Fionore. You're gonna have a Shadow Pokemon, are you? Oh, it's gonna be Yanma. I can tell, it's gonna be Yanma. I don't know why I think it's gonna be Yanma, but it's gonna be Yanma. So, there we go with Umbreon and Quagsire. I still don't know if this control is actually any better. Yeah, Shadow Pokemon. And it's Yanma! I am a fucking genius! So, fight. Bite, Yanma. Shadow Rush, Pineco. It seems like this control is actually a lot better. Is that Super Sonic or Sonic? Oh, that's Super Sonic. God dang it. I mean, I suppose it's better than Sonic Boom in some ways. You still break through and bite him. How much is that gonna do? Nothing at all. You'll have 33, so that's kinda good. Shadow Rush the Pineco. I guess I can bite and Shadow Rush the Yanma at the same turn. And a bone kill. Rapid spin. That's laughable. Rapid spin. Really? Really? Rapid spin. Yanma. Oh, Sonic Boom. That may be slightly bad if you don't do it against Umbreon. Umbreon can take a couple of those. Four, to be exact. And then he's dead. Not counting the rapid spin, so it's probably like three. Okay, now he can just take like three. So Shadow Rush, how much is Shadow Rush going to do against Yanma? A good amount. He can live another one, however. But I'm not going to take the risk. I don't think. Because I really want to catch that Yanma. I really, really do. So I'm going to bite it, and then I'm going to Shadow Rush to Pineco. Which didn't do that much last time, right? I want that Yanma to be gone from the field, to be honest, as quickly as possible. Because this thing is just tearing through my team. Oh yeah, bite. I forgot about it not hitting because of confusion, maybe. Oh! Was that a crit or was it just... That wasn't even a crit, hyper... God damn it! Hyper mode all over the place! Do not attack Pineco. Do not attack Pineco, that's... That's the thing here, do not attack him. Uh, so items... No Pokeballs. Great, I only have two great balls left. I need to buy some more uh, balls after this, honestly. Okay, call the Quagsire. I need to catch this Yanma within two great balls, otherwise I have to kill it. Buy in some more Pokeballs after this, right away. As soon as I can, that is. Two, three. Oh, no problem, I caught a Yanma. That's no problem. And now I can just kill everybody. So I'm gonna call Quagsire, right? Yeah. So that's gonna get him down to just two uh, gauges, thingies, bars, sub-bars, I don't even know what they are. Secret Power and Encarta, Shadow Rush, still just Shadow Rush, really no water type move yet? Or just like Earthquake? Well, probably not Earthquake, to be honest. Your Pokemon can take hits pretty well, I must admit. Hyper Mode all over the place! Oh, you're gonna go for a dig. I, I'll be able to take a dig. Yeah, nobody attacked you, Pineco. Don't even bother. So now I'm gonna attack Pineco, and guess I'm calling Quagsire again. Maybe now actually he'll learn a decent attack which I can use, because he goes into hyper mode when I use Shadow Rush. That's the only way he can go into hyper mode. And that's the only move he has. Great! Paral paralyze! Paralyze is so, so amazing! So who are you attacking? Oh, he'll be able to take that. He'll be able to take that. So your speed is half now. Paralysis halves uh, the Pokemon's speed. Which really doesn't matter because I was at speeding regardless. You have Slam. Finally. A move which I can use which doesn't go into Hyper Mode. Hyper Mode admittedly does help with uh, dropping the gauge. But I couldn't be bothered dropping the gauge right now. 
Oh, that's leech life. I was gonna say, did nothing, but it's super effective. All right. So the Pineco is gone, which is really nice. Also, it seems like this controller is actually working fine, which is also really, really nice. Sursky, how many damn Pokemon do you have? So I'm gonna secret power the Sur's Kid and slam the Ninkata. Because Sur's Kid is really frail as it is, I feel. Uh, yes it is. <laughs> it is really, really frail. Bubble, really, bubble. That's what you're gonna do, you're gonna bubble. That, that's it, you're gonna bubble. Well, that did a whole 3 HP of damage. You used bubble. Oh, it's divided, so normally it would've done 6. How cute. How do you miss? How do you miss a slam? How in the world do you miss a slam? I think it has like 90 accuracy, but I. Just realistically speaking, how do you miss that? Quick attack. I think that it literally 1 HP damage. My Pokemon is so damn bulky, I love it so much. And that Surf Kid is done for. So now it's just in Encarta and we'll be done. And then we can buy Pokeballs, because we really, really need Pokeballs. I just have one Great Ball left. And if I have to fight another, uh, like, grunt thingy evil team guy, I just have one... Ninkata isn't that bulky! Come on! It's supposed to be really quick, not bulky. But yeah, I'll just have one Great Ball, and I prefer to have a little bit more, because I want to catch them Pokemon. Paralysis can't move. Good. Slam. Also causes paralysis. Yeah. Oh, you live! Why wouldn't it be like burn or poison? That'd be, that'd be great. Absolutely amazing. But no, you have to live and then and you don't even go down to your status condition because it doesn't deal any damage whatsoever. But now you're done for. So that was actually a fairly interesting battle. Especially since my Pokemon are actually getting pretty close to opening their hearts. Still can't purify them because we'll have to wait for that a little bit. No surprise that I managed, uh, that you, uh, how you managed to win the tournament. I got a shitload of money. Don't know how. It's useless. I don't stand a chance of winning. Now hold on, you're the one who brought them here. Hey, we are safe. I heard you entered the building and it had me worried. Liu King, is this where they were giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of the battle challenges? Shadow Pokemon? Those ferocious Pokemon that even attack people? Yes, they were giving away Shadow Pokemon to the Fox for some reason. It doesn't look good. Uh, they were using the Colosseum to do that. Big lady, my papa, my papa's Pokemon was taking my mirror be as a prisoner. He did that? Mirobi is a dirty, uh, did a dirty move like that? It's Papa's Plusle. I think we actually got that Plusle. We may. I'm so worried that it might uh, be mean to it. It's humiliating, but with Plusle in the filthy hands, my own hands are tight. He's not getting away with this, that rotten Mirobi. But we're here now. We'll get Plusle back for you, right Vlogger? Yeah, we will. I know I could always count on you, Vlogger. Joking, it's dangerous inside this building. You've got to get everyone out of uh, here uh, to safety. Thanks for everything. I have to depend on you. I have no choice. Be careful, I need, uh, always. Mirror B might look like a clown, but his battling is all business. It may be. So are we... We're not automatically walking, but neither are we walking to the left. Which could be, or, or the right for that matter, which is a serious issue. And we can actually walk using the D-pad with this, which is absolutely amazing. The other one couldn't do that. The I'm file. I don't necessarily have to read it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the train rack station. Oh, it's so amazing being able to actually walk again. This is the controller I'm going to be using. I can't use the circle thingy, which is all because in battle I could... Was I using the D-pad? I think I may have been using the D-pad, but I can use the D-pad to walk somehow with this one, which I couldn't do before. Still no official GameCube controller, but it's another one uh, 
which is one of those rip-off ones. So outside skirt, outskirt, outside thing, the train rack where I can buy Pokeballs, and then we'll end off this episode, I suppose. And the next time we'll go into that building and wreck Mirror Beast's face. Listen, Paul, if you're intending to travel some more, you might want to get stock up and supplies here. You want a boy? I want a boy. I want to buy some damn grapples. Let's go with like... Oh, let's go with like, I don't know. 20? Seems like a bit much, let's go with 10. 15. Let's go with 15. 15 seems like a good number. Because that way I can actually... I... They don't sell potions here. How many potions do I have? Items. I've got 16 gray balls. That should be good enough. How many? I have 8 potions. I think that should be enough. I have a... 4 limit? 4 potion limit, I feel. I think it's 4 potions uh, per battle. So that's 2 battles. And I think I've never actually used more than 1 or 2 potions in a battle. Most of the time I actually don't use potions whatsoever. So until the next time, do not forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for my new controller. Until the next time, I've been Vlogger, you've been awesome. I feel like I'm forgetting the half my outro. Doesn't matter. Bye.